Welcome back to the Highlands, another day in this beautiful country. We're enjoying it so much. Today we're going to be doing one of the main sightseeing attractions, which is to visit a castle. This is the kind of fish and chips that I like. And so today we have selected the Aileen Dunnan Castle located on an island, which is what makes this castle pretty unique. Some of you may recognize it because it has been a screensaver on the TV wallpapers. Let us know if you recognize this castle from your TV. All right, uh, without further ado, let's go and explore this beauty. This castle, Aileen Donnan, has actually been rebuilt four times. And for all the history buffs, Outlander fans, I am gonna throw that out there because we are too. The castle was actually destroyed during the first Jacobite Rising, so the main one we know of is the second one, but there were multiple ones before, and this one was probably the second biggest after the big one that ended everything. And basically, the British troops surrounded the castle, completely went into the castle, took over everything, left nothing, except they used the gunpowder that was within the castle, that was a property of the castle, to destroy the castle. So something really extra sad and hopeless about that, that they used the actual gunpowder of the castle to destroy it. But standing like this today, thankfully we can come visit it. And just another reminder of the sad history, but really beautifully touching history of this country. People of Scotland, we gather here today because I have an important announcement. Marie and Olivia want to request some likes. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so we can bring you more good stuff. Oh, excuse me, I'm a royalty, I don't talk like that. Yeah, that's how I talk. Alright, now back to the facts. Like Olivia said, this castle has been rebuilt four times. The latest restoration took place in 1912 when the McRae family purchased the castle. And it took about 20 years to fully restore it. And perhaps inside the castle, that's why you will see some equipment that is more modern that you'd think existed in the 1700s, 1600s, um, such as a faucet. The castle is said to be haunted. And McRae family descendants that restored this castle actually still to this day have a private apartment in this castle, which is uh, pretty neat. actually strategically placed between three different locks and the island itself, not the castle, but the island has been inhabited since the Iron Age. But the castle itself wasn't actually built until the early 13th century and that was to protect from the Vikings. One minute is really warm and I think I'm like gonna burn because of my sound allergy and I need sunscreen and then the sun goes away and I'm freezing. It's cold! So we have come to a place that has wonderful views for fish and chips but they also have burgers from their cattle right on the farm so that you can take that either way. <laughs> Are you excited? Yep. This is the kind of fish and chips that I like. I got a beef burger. 
the cows are just over that way so it's super fresh it's grass fed um, so you really know what you're getting here I'm just glad I didn't see the cows because I struggle with that part the fries look amazing actually they look really similar to the fries I make good stuff got the burger right here got some fried onions and Scottish cheddar let's see how that is very nice very nice so I was pretty disappointed with the fish and chips in Edinburgh and this I think will satisfy me what I was looking for this is exactly how I'm used to having fish and chips really crispy and fresh hot I like it doused in malt vinegar and then dipped in ketchup I think it's really hot though it's really good the batter is not too thick it's like light and you can tell the fish is just so fresh I'm like a cold highland day this is so warming fabulous meal hidden little location in the town of Plopton highly recommend if you're in the area for something quick and now we're having the Odis we got from the alien castle gift shop they're really really good uh, now we're gonna head back and uh, go see the boys Second time's a charm, weather conditions completely different. That was really rough. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> so, although in the morning it didn't look like we were going to be able to make it, we drove back up the Bialak Road and the viewpoint, and now we're doing a hike nearby, and the views are just spectacular. It's a lot colder than sea level over here, but the views are totally worth it. I don't think I've ever done a hike with this scenery. It's absolutely beautiful. When you're in the highlands, definitely make a point to, to hike, for sure, right? I agree. This might be the best day yet as far as weather goes. Let's hope when we visit the Isle of Skye, it's gonna be the same. Ago. Can I just say it literally is the best feeling when you literally feel like you're in the middle of nature with the whole world to yourself. It just feels like everything there is. There's no one else. Ow. There's no one else around. Oh, there's someone. Just kidding. That's an antenna. There's no one else around. It's just the feeling is so serene. All right, I'm gonna put this in my pocket because we were not expecting snow. Another day, another hike, and this one is full of trees. We're inside the forest, completely different than what we just did yesterday. Quite a bit of elevation, but I like it. All right, let's keep going. I mean, this goes for every natural place of the world, but 
something here, like being in the forest, where it's like everything's breathing and alive. And there's a reason why people say to feel good, go into nature, because that energy and just the purity from the earth, nothing beats it. Got you! Uh, did you think I was ahead? Yeah, I thought you were the car. I went in the forest. <laughs> I was running up ahead and then I hid. And then I let her pass thinking that was Smakey booking it to the car. Got you, I love scaring you. Oh, you used to see it on the video. I just thought I kicked her off. All right, we're finishing up this beautiful hike. But I'm even more excited for tomorrow and the next video we're gonna show you guys uh, because we're going to be going to the island of Skye and it's just stunning. So make sure you stick around, subscribe to the channel if you haven't so you can uh, see more of our videos. As always, thank you for watching.